So first up, we got a revision. That's right. We've been revising a lot of the combo packs. Uh, this is a you know beginner Gemma um, pack for doing Sobel Electronics, which gives you like one of everything. Uh, you can start with alligator clips and then um, upgrade to sewing with the nice uh, stainless steel conductive thread. Historically, we sold this with the Gemma V2, which used the AT Tiny 85. Um, sadly, you know those. The bit banging USB technique is is really not guaranteed to work anymore. Uh, so we upgraded this to use the Gemma M0 instead, which is uh, circuit Python compatible, make code compatible. You can use Arduino and has a ton more memory. All right, update. Okay, so this was the ultimate GPS bare module, which was product number 790. And um, the company that made this module, uh, which was the PA6H, was made by GTOP. They got sold or something, and they basically stopped making the module, and it was sad. Uh, but we did find a alternative company that makes a like 99% identical module. It's pin compatible. It's called the PA1616. It's it still uses the MTK3339. Um, it's the same physical size. Again, the same pinout, same voltages same firmware the only difference is that the antenna querying commands are slightly different um and we weren't going to keep selling the module but people were like no i, I use the module i, I soldered the module into my designs and so um in addition to selling this on a breakout board uh we're going to have the where the bare modules available as well okay next up all right next up a we put in uh some adorable step switches a couple weeks ago, uh, they're like 808 style, called the PB86. People love them, but they're not breadboard friendly. So what we did is uh, I put together a quick breakout board um, that just kind of rearranges all the pins and also makes it so it can fit into a breadboard very nicely. And I thought I would show on the overhead. Um, they do stack up side by side. This is nice. Half inch a piece, uh, and then you can clicky clicky is one of each color um you, you know you have to solder it in but it's very easy there's only six solder points and then we give you header on both sides so that it sits uh nice and flat and then you have you know a couple solder uh sorry um breadboard rows available to connect the um the led negative the led positive you'll need a resistor as well the normally closed connection, the normally open connection, and the common connection. So the switch has three contacts, uh, the LED has two, and then they're, they're just duplicated on the other side. So you have two sets uh, to make wiring easy. And then, yeah, they just go side by side if you want. Uh, so perfect for um, prototyping with these adorable step switches. All right. And then the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, all of our staff, all of our friends, all of our community, all of our customers, and everyone who makes this thing go is... This is the PCA9548 Stemma QT breakout. Yay! So we've, we've had a TCA9548 breakout for a very long time. Um, but uh, when Liz was working on um, the eight channel um, laser harp, or, you know, she, she connected up eight distant sensors. She was like, man, I really wish there was a, a Stemma QT version of this multiplexer that I could just plug everything in. So what this board does, um, as you can see here, it's got four VCNL 4040s. If you are trying to connect um, I squared C sensors, you know that every I squared C sensor needs to have a unique address. And so sometimes there's an address jumper to you and like you can change the addresses and you still have to make sure none of them collide. But there's sometimes there's sensors that don't have a configurable address. Like I think the VCNL 4040 doesn't. And let's say you wanna have multiple distance sensor because you're making a laser harp. Um, what do you do? Well, this is a special chip. Um, it's very inexpensive and you have one port and that's the one on the very left. That's the input port. And then when you send um, a special I squared C command to address 70, it tells that chip to route the next <coughs> um, I squared C commands over to that port. So there's eight ports. And so you can select which port you want to route to and that basically lets you, you know, without any special wiring, without any jumper pins or whatever, connect to eight different devices 
uh, with a very little amount of code that just you know has to go in between when you want to select between the, the different ones. Um, it works very well. We've got an Arduino and CircuitPython code examples and Python examples. So let's let me show it oh, in the overhead. There's a couple other interesting things. So this is your controller. So your controller connects to here, and um, this is also the breakout for the controller side. And then there's eight ports. Um, you know, you just have to keep track. Like this is port zero, and this is port five, because when you tell the uh, 9548 chip which port you want, you have to tell it like port zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And um, in addition, what we did is there is. Let me just show a quick demo. Um, so if you're using a, and you know, it has LED, so you know where everything's lit. If you're using um, a five volt Arduino with, you know, STEM QT, you might want to level shift the um, output. Like all of our boards have level shifters on them, but if you're using uh, quick or you made a DIY design, you might want to have three volt power and logic. So on board, there is a three volt regulator with 500 milliamps output level shifter and then down here is a little switch that lets you select the logic output for these eight ports so even if this port's five volts um, you can select these to be three volts just by uh, flicking the switch back and forth and uh, this is three volts already so you're not going to see any difference um, but I thought there was like you know, we had a little bit of space left over so I thought uh, why not add a little level shifter another thing to note is this is the PCA9548 and a lot of times these are called TCA9548 uh, and they're actually the same chip as long as you're using um, 3 volt or 5 volt power. The TCA can go down to 1.8 volts but uh, it's also very hard to get right now. The PCA9548 is otherwise equivalent. Uh, it uses the exact same code, it's the exact same pinout. It just only goes down to like 2.3 volts minimum. So for this functionality it's the same just in case you're like what's the difference between the PCA and the TCA? In this case, there is no difference. They are drop-in compatible. Uh, so this should make it really easy to make, um, you know, projects that use a lot of different boards, sorry, a lot of different clones of the same board with the same address with one uh, STEM QT port and no soldering. And that's a new product for the week. New, 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 new.